Not only did we not get any new content for zombies here at the launch of season two, but they actually removed content. And while we talk about that, we'll be getting our BP-50 Borealis. You guys probably already know by now, all the new content coming into zombies is only coming in at mid-season. So we probably won't see any of the new stuff until season two reloaded or close to it. And just to add some insult to injury, they ended up nerfing PhD. Now, if you guys don't know, PhD actually stopped you from taking fire damage from hellhounds. And you know what they did with this update? They took that away. Now that it used to be the perk that I would always grab whenever I'm going into tier three because I'd always have hellhounds right behind me, chomping at me, or if you just kill one and have to run through where I was at. It was, it was always very nice just to not take that extra fire damage. But now that's gone. Just another nerf to PhD because before it actually used to help you with not taking damage in the storm or while you're in like a, a zombie stronghold or an aether nest. It used to be really clutch for that, but now it's basically all just self damage that you don't take or self-explosive damage, I should say. And on top of that, this is probably gonna be pretty controversial, but they took out the tombstone glitch and they even addressed it in their patch notes saying that they got rid of tombstone exploits or ways to get around it. So I guess RIP to all you guys that relied on that. Cause I know every single lobby was people just asking for money for their tombstone. It was people that were just dropping stuff out of their tombstone, which was very nice. But in the long run, I honestly think it'll be pretty all right for zombies. Because I felt like every time I hopped on the mode, it would always be like 13 people immediately in tier three. And if you wanted to go in there and do any sort of tier three contract, it just wasn't happening. They would be taking all the contracts from you. It would just be way too crowded there. But it does suck for a lot of the people that really got into the mode because of the tombstone glitch. And just to make matters worse with the season's drop, there was an event. I think it's called Horde Hunt, where it's basically you got to kill zombies and you can pick up bones and stuff from them. And the more bones you collect, the more rewards you get. And from the very start of the season up until like, I think just a few minutes ago, it didn't even work in zombies. So the zombies themed event in the zombies themed season where the zombies mode isn't getting any zombies content, couldn't even participate in the brand new event. I think now it's working fine. I'm starting to see zombies drop the bones, at least here and there, but it just felt like slap in the face after slap in the face to zombies players. But on the bright side though, we got some new guns to mess around with. What is this, an origami horse? I've never seen that before. While we're testing out this BP-50, I thought we'd give it more of a realistic review of the weapon. And I feel like most of the time when these weapons have come out, I've just gone into the game with like a pack three crystal and like either a legendary or an epic aether tool. And I think any gun in the game is gonna do pretty decent with that kind of build. Also speaking of build, here's the build I'm using for it. So this time around, I started with basically nothing. I had a little bit of a head start with our perks and I brought in cryo freeze in a rare aether tool because those seem to be pretty common anyways. And because we need those for our camo challenges. So I'll be trying to get all the way up to pack a bunch three in this game and trying to test it against all the mobs, but we gotta get all the way up to gold and exfil anyways. So. If we can't go and try against the Mega Abomination in this game, we're coming back in another one just so we can get our Zircon skill and our, our Serpent tonight. But outside of our Cryo Freeze kills and our kills with Rare Rarity, we need to get 250 kills, which we got earlier. And we need to get 50 Mercenary kills, and that should get us enough to get up to gold. So where's a good contract we can grind? Oh, let's do a Spore Control, actually. At Season 1 Reloaded, these were nerfed, so it doesn't have infinite spawns, but let's see if that changed. Not looking like it. Lame. Let's just end this contract. Oh, is that a pack crystal? Might as well. We'll save some money. Let's do a quick bounty for some extra funding towards pack two. Oh, and there's our 250 kills with we are higher. We just need our cryo freeze kills and then we need to go find some mercenaries to take out. And I know everybody's upset about the lack of zombies content right now and you rightfully should be. But the thing you should really be upset about it's a new horde point mode because not only is it a good mode and fun to play, but it's basically onslaught PVP. Because if you guys play Cold War, you know what onslaught is. It's basically like zombies on multiplayer maps and it works just the same way in horde point because it's just hard point on multiplayer maps, but zombies spawn in out of the ground the same way they did an onslaught, which makes it even crazier how we haven't seen onslaught in this game yet. It's literally all there. They made the mode. Why don't we get it? They could have threw that in here in it would have been completely fine. I don't think there would have been an uproar from the zombies community. People still would have been mad about, you know, not getting the new Warzone map in zombies or not getting stuff here on Urzikstan right at launch. But at least if we had Onslaught, a lot of people would have quiet down about it. They would be like, okay, at least we're getting something. So hopefully now that they have like the infrastructure in the game, that was crazy. Dude, just PhD dove bomb right at my car. What was I saying? Oh yeah, but since they got the mode basically made, I want to see it come into zombies 
at, at some point during this game's life cycle. I'll be even more mad the longer they wait because it seems so easy to throw in. They already got it. And just one more quick little slap on the face that they wanted to throw out there kind of silently was it was confirmed by Mr. Dalek JD, who was in the content creators call with Call of Duty for this update. He said that they don't plan on adding in any more perks or any more enemy types to Modern Warfare Zombies. So a lot of people thought we might be getting Mule Kick at some point or even Widow's Wine because it was in the the collector's edition of this game but it turns out we're not getting anything else which is extremely concerning for the life cycle of this game like we're still going to get new weapons and sometimes there might be some events like this that we can actually complete in the mode and outside of maybe like a few more dark aether rifts that are all going to be on like al mazra i don't think we're going to be getting in any new maps we're not getting any new perks maybe even no new modes they could have just made onslaught just to fuck with us for a multiplayer mode it just don't make sense because this is actually a really fun mode I feel like it, it won a lot of people over who was who were skeptical on how this would work. And they just like almost drop all support for it after one season. Like that's insane to me. But if I got to give them props somewhere, if they did one good thing for zombies in this update is that they did buff the ray gun and the scorcher. Uh, the ray gun now shoots faster and I think does less uh, self explosive damage to the player that's shooting it if they don't have phd and they also made it so the scorcher is like way way stronger i think it was upped by like 400 something percent in terms of its damage it also made it faster to charge up the weapon like it is actually pretty good for the scorcher and the ray gun was pretty weak uh before this update so hopefully it's better now oh look at look at my bones i got 420 bones and one skull but we need a little bit more cash for pack three i'm gonna try to do some bounties now let's see how this is doing against a tier two bounty it's fucking excellent he was too scared to even fight us i guess since we're right here might as well do this cargo contract this will give us enough to get pack three there we go give me that and it's doing all right against these tier three zombies nothing insane that's well, not terrible Let's see if we can find a mega abomination to take out. There's our boy. What's up, dude? How's this doing against you? You shoot a laser right off the bat. Let's get that mouth broken in. Oh, I have to fucking reload. Terrible timing. Lucky for you, I guess. Broke his face, so I just needed a few more shots there. Oh, here comes another laser. And there we go. So far, my main issue with this gun is that it doesn't have like the most ammo in the mag. What's it at when I reload? 90 bullets. And unpack a punch, its highest mag is 45. That's not like the, the best amount for zombies. Could definitely use some more ammo. But I'm sure when our, our mags of holding comes out, it'll make this gun a little bit better, but we won't get to see that till mid season. Um, we're gonna have to try to tank this again. Nope, we gotta run. Had no ammo. And we're just getting pounded by these zombies. I think I'm. A lot of self revives too. That's not good. On top of that, I have 12 bullets. Zombies, drop me some stuff, please. You know what, actually? Cluster mine. How much damage are you at right now, Mega Bomb? About half health. I didn't do that much more damage to you. Oh, lay down. Ooh, that was clutch. Barely dodged that. Oh, not another laser. On top of a disciple hit me. Stop! No! Oh, I do have another self revive. Thank God. That could have got bad real quick. All right, zombies, enough fucking around. Drop me ammo, please. I need some now. Uh, any on the ground? Just armor? Cool. Yeah, I'll just load my gun with armor. This is a pain in the ass. Like, this gun seems decent, at least slightly, but the ammo is a huge problem. Finally got like a decent amount to actually start fighting them. Just had to do a whole lot of running around and scavenging for items to kill zombies to get ammo drops. Oh, there's a 250 kills of Frost Blast. He's got one more camo left. Oh, and I'm dead. I'm fucked here. No, I'm not. No, yes, I am. Yep. Damn it. Uh, is anybody going to be a doll and come save me? I'm an E5. Can I get a revive in E5, please? I even capitalized the piece. So I know I'm serious. Oh, what a guy. Throwing the cashmere. Thank you, sir. And I think our abomination healed. Yep. Back to full health. That's fun. We'll have to come back for round two after we get gold. I need to kill some mercenaries before this game's over. What's up, mercenaries? Wonderful weather we're having, huh? Just uh, please don't knock me. I'll be embarrassed if I have to ask to get revived again. Give me that stronghold key card. Oh, would you look at that? There's a mercenary stronghold right here. How convenient. Let me in. 
There we go. Yeah, turn your back. Genius. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I got caught with my dick out. I was over here looting. Oh, is there even people still in the game? There's a few. Okay, I think we're fine. Let me just crawl out of the stronghold. And I have to ask for help again. I'm in H6. Oh, and here comes the Aether Storm. And we're close to it. Oh, let's go. He's here. This is the same guy that got me earlier. Appreciate you, King. Oh, he's going in too? Fuck it. We ball. Anyone else upstairs? Nope. We'll open the safe. Let's uh, not go down again, though, because I don't think this guy's going to come get us three times. Bring in those reinforcements. See what happens. There we go. I don't even care about the safe. We just need to leave. It's going to be a buzzer beater. There we go. Another camp cleared. And I'm not seeing any more camps around, so we're going to have to do a Merc contract. We're going to have to do it quick because the storm is so close. There we go. Let me move! What the fuck? That was bullshit. This game don't want to see me win. Please let me move. Please let me move. Please let me move. Please let me move. Please let me move! Holy shit. What the fuck? Is this even worth it? Do I try to go for the third one? Do I learn? This is why I don't fuck with Merc contracts. I never do these. They're bad luck. We don't need mercenaries and zombies anyways. It's stupid. I'll throw a decoy first. Maybe two decoys. There we go. Now, why am I doing the whole animation twice? Oh. God damn. Now we have to go all the way over there and activate the ground station. And hope that it don't give me two animations. Because if we do, we're screwed. Oh, no. Here's the storm. Fuck me. Let's cancel that contract. Maybe there's another one down here that we can do. There is an Aether Extractor contract, though, that we can try. That's like our last hope of getting out of here with gold. But it's so risky. I'm going to get gold or die trying. We got less than three minutes. There's more time left on the contract than there is in the game. Come on. Where are you guys hiding? Are you serious? That's a bad idea. I ain't even touching the rockets. Fuck them. I'm not getting stuck in that animation. Oh, here they are. There we go. There's our 50 mercenary kills. I don't care about the rest of you. We're going. Cancel the contract too. Oh, and there's a convoy coming. Oh, shit. Please do not kill me. I am begging. And we still have to survive for another minute. I think as long as I stay in the helicopter, we'll be all right. Oh, come on. Come on. Reload the goddamn gun, please. Let's just go. Take off. Leave, please. Go, go, go. Woo. That was such a close call. That had to have been the most stressful gold I've ever gotten in my life. There's our camos. That's four right there. There's our gold, baby. Now we got some pack-a-punch kills to get. I ain't going easy on them this time. I'm bringing in the pack three crystal and the epic aether tool. There's our pack-a-punch kills. Let's go. Now we just need our 10 special or elite eliminations and this gun is done. And I was told on stream yesterday is that if I hover between 54 and 55 for our progress, it should spawn in a disciple every time. There it is, right on cue. This should be it right here. Right about now. Maybe not. Oh, nope, there it is. I knew I could smell a camo. Now that all of our camo's out of the way, it's time for round two, Mega Bomb. You got away pretty easily last time. This time we're not playing around. Yeah, shoot that laser. Hold on, give me a second. There we go. Broke his face already. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. The epic rarity is definitely helping out. And I don't know how, but somebody infiltrated my team. I didn't invite nobody, but he's here. And we already got him to half health. That's not bad. Let's break his other face. Either one. Which one do you prefer, Mega Bomb? Oh, got to reload. There you go. Down to the last one. This is actually kind of slaying him. He's getting pounded, but also we're like basically out of ammo. I grabbed ammo right at the start of this fight. So this thing is plagued by the lack of ammo. Good thing that we had our ammo cache right next to us. And now I'm down. That's our first down of the whole fight. I have more self-revised than we did last time. He's just about dead. We just need a little bit more. There you go. That was easy enough. Told you first fight was a fluke. I still can't believe how little ammo this has. 
Like, there's some guns that have more ammo in their mags than this thing has in reserve. Let's see. Refill the ammo. 405 in the mag or in reserve. The PDSW has 400 rounds just in his mag. Is the Stormcaller still here? Looks like it. What's up, buddy? What's this doing against you? So far, not a whole lot, but let's stop the healing. Let's get that mass broken on him. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this could be a really good way to get skulls too. There's a bunch right here. If it's even counting, you just gotta lure the fully armored zombies out of the storm. I'm a genius. Oh, all the bones are still counting, but not the skulls. Lame. I got a bone they can collect. Eh, it's not doing like terrible damage to them. But probably not the weapon I choose to fight them with. At least it does damage. I've seen weapons that just tickle them. Got until about half health. Just a little bit more. Come on there. Oh, wait. Almost. Quick reload. Stop healing. Oh, he was literally a nut hair away from death. Cheeky bastard. And hold on. Quick reload. There we go. Finally. If you're not going to give me skull, I'm going to take it. I'm going to get it one way or another. All right. I think we're good to get out of here. And who better to leave with than our teammate? Our estranged teammate. Our long lost brother. We'll teabag for you. Hello? Is it going to let me leave? We just keep going. Um. Hello? Game? We are way out of bounds. All right. That scared me for a second. I thought we were about to lose everything. And this is what our BP-50 looks like in-game with Borealis. Honestly, not a bad gun. There's definitely better guns out there, and the ammo definitely hurts it. But it does pretty decent damage. It's uh, maybe above average assault rifle, if not like just barely above average. And also, this is a new map, Stash House. There's a pizza on the roof. Breaking Bad reference? But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.